Here we are in southwest France. I've been asked by a few people on YouTube to do a full walkthrough of the pallet making process for making heating or for burning in a pellet stove. Uh, I've just run this through the mill. I'm not going to take a video of it uh, running. I already have one up on YouTube. Uh, you can see it coming out. I'm just a bit too busy um, <clears throat> doing it to explain everything as we're going because it takes quite a lot of uh, time and effort to do it. So just wanted to uh, walk you all through the process whilst the pellets are cooling. Um, I started uh, the journey on pellet making uh, to use as heating in my house a couple of years back I bought a little electric um, four or five kilowatt uh, pellet mill from China um, which does not make wood pellets it just doesn't it makes uh, biomass pellets you know at best grass if you're lucky um, it's for chicken feed or feeding animals uh, really you know they get stuck uh, pretty easily with anything you know close to wood softwood and you would never get hardwood in them so uh, I'm here in southwest France I've got two hectares of land uh, and arrived as a uh, wet behind the ears Brit man thinking that I could uh, uh, use a ride-on lawnmower uh, much to the amusement of the locals to do my work around here and cut the lawn. Um, nevertheless, uh, I found out the hard way and uh, now have purchased a tractor, a 70 or well, 69 horsepower Czechoslovakian tractor, the Zetor 6211. It's a great workhorse, it's from 1989. Um, works well. Uh, I can talk you through that maybe in another video. Um, but uh, Bought the pellet mill again from uh, China, from Alibaba, imported it. Uh, it's a PTO shaft, a 360 mil die plate, um, and uh, it works fantastically. Um, it is a roller turned, so the drive shaft connected here, oh, that's still a bit hot, uh, turns the rollers to a fixed die plate, um, <clears throat> and then down here the drive shaft comes all the way through and there's a rotating uh, platform again I don't think that you can quite see that um, there was a riving knife or a knife that uses to cut off the extruded pellets uh, um, but I found that it was a bit too forceful it was about the the width of my finger in mild steel and it was uh, bashing the pellets about and breaking them up into quite small things so I've actually taken that off the machine and just welded a little um, a little uh, plate uh, much lower than the original uh, so that we're getting a better output of pellet um, if you can see I don't know see if you can see that they're nice and shiny nice and hard ranging in size from about 10 mil up to about 40 or 50 mil and that's perfect for putting in um, they have a pretty good consistency this is a hundred percent oak it's a hundred percent oak that I get from a friend uh, about 20 minutes away who gives me his uh, sawdust for free it's actually not quite sawdust it's shavings um, he's a joiner and it costs him money to get rid of it uh, and he makes tons and tons of it uh, so he's making staircases and all sorts of uh, joinery work um, so he gives it away as it costs him money uh, there's my solar panels I need to go on the roof I need a new roof first but hey -ho. Um, so this is what I run the stuff that he gives me through you can have a look at the uh, this is how it, this is how he gives it to me you can see it's more like shavings uh, there from a, a large industrial uh, router um, and that will go uh, I put a few bags through just straight like that but uh, sometimes there are slightly bigger chunks in it and um, it just you know you don't really want that going into the machine uh, so I put it through this 4.5 uh, kilowatt hammer mill uh, sort of rotating um, 
load of blades in there it makes about 250 kilos uh, an hour but uh, it's 250 kilos an hour when when you're putting you know pretty coarse stuff through whereas if you're just putting this stuff through it just goes it almost just goes straight through and it's got a uh, uh, it's got a fan that, that pulls it through and uh, you just this is just a little contraption I've built myself because uh, it does force the air out quite quite considerably. You have to um, you have to stop the air from coming in. So I uh, make a kind of seal with this and and seal it up to to put it in. Um, so yeah, a hundred percent oak uh, into into the pellet mill, uh, making nice. Nice quality pellets. Um, the other modification that I've made to this is originally this comes with um, it's, it's, it's kind of a pallet sweeper arm, and the sweeper arm was a little bit too high um, off of here. You know, it's, it's, it's again attached to the drive shaft, but uh, um, <clears throat> was meant to you know knock the sawdust through the holes that you can you can open and close uh, to give a kind of specific feed rate but it didn't work particularly well it kind of kept the steam uh, locked up underneath there and um, yeah, steam was kind of billowing out so it's, it's better uh, just to hand feed it in uh, quite slowly or bucket feed it in um, and yeah, uh, obviously once uh, once you finish passing it through, you then want to put some uh, oily material through. So this is just uh, this is ground up leaves, but uh, it's about 20, 30 percent um, just hydro like leftover hydraulic fluid oil uh, that you put in. Um, and you just run that through a couple of times uh, through the die holes when you're finished, so that the die holes don't. Um, lock with any woody material. You have to. You have to just just put it through a, a couple of times so that the material left in the die holes when when the machine cools down uh, is oily so that the next time you run it uh, it'll come straight out because if it's if it's still wood then you run the risk of having to drill drill the die plates out which I can tell you from personal experience is not very fun um, I have yet to actually burn any of these um, they look absolutely fine to me I don't see why they wouldn't um, the hardness you know that's me putting pretty much all my pressure on it you know uh, and you know they're not going anywhere they will burn just fine um, but uh, I'll probably do another video of uh, me burning them for the complete process uh, um, yeah if you have any questions just uh, ask because you know I'm interested in this process with people learning how to kind of you know make their own make their own heating be a bit more off grid disenfranchise themselves from the state and the governing authoritarian politics that's happening in the world today to be a little bit more free with a view like that all right thank you guys and uh, yeah send me any questions